Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. We get the, the same basic questions over and over and over again. Uh, and one of the ones that we've gotten a lot recently for whatever reason that I don't think we've ever covered in a video before is when was the last time Battleship New Jersey fired her guns? Similarly, we've often been asked when was the last time she fired her guns in anger? And let me tell you, those two dates are very different. They're a half a decade apart. So I'm going to be specifically talking about the last times that Battleship New Jersey's 16-inch guns were fired. Her 5-inch guns were fired about a month later, uh, but this is the last time that her 16-inch guns were fired in anger and the last time her 16-inch guns were fired in training. As we get more information on when the last time a 50 caliber was fired in anger and when the last time a 5-inch gun was fired in training, all that stuff, uh, we'll, we'll make some future videos. We're, we're going to be around here for a while. Uh, but without further ado, Battleship New Jersey's final combat action, the last time she's awarded a quote-unquote battle star, was for the Iran-Iraq tanker war when she was deployed to the Persian Gulf in 1989-1990. However, she did not fire her guns in anger during that war. The last time Battleship New Jersey fired her guns in anger was on February 26th, 1984. Now, if memory serves correctly, that was the third time that she fired her main guns during the Lebanese Civil War. Following the Beirut barracks bombing in October of 83, Battleship New Jersey remained off the coast of Lebanon and uh, several times in early 1984, was called upon for fire support ashore. So February 26th was the final time she was called on to fire her main battery off Lebanon. She was the only Iowa-class battleship that participated in this engagement, and it would be the last time that she fired her guns in anger, although not the last time she was in a combat zone. Battleship New Jersey was decommissioned in February of 1991. However, it was nearly a year earlier, in April of 1990, that she last fired her guns during a training exercise. On April 18th, while sailing independently off the coast of Southern California, New Jersey fired her guns for the very last time. Later, during a separate training cruise, on May 30th, 1990, was the last time she fired her five inch guns. How is it that New Jersey last fired her guns in April of 1990 and then doesn't fire them again for 10 months until February 1991 when she's decommissioned? Well, well, in July of 1990, she goes into dry dock for inactivation. So it's very near the end of her career. She spends her last several months in commission being prepared to be decommissioned. Uh, so there were no opportunities to fire her guns again. She did not fire her main battery much during her last couple of years in service because a series of moratoriums were placed on firing the 16-inch guns after the Iowa turret explosion on April 19, 1989. So while the various investigations are being carried out into what led to that incident, the rest of the battleships were not allowed to fire their guns. It seems like there were a series of moratoriums uh, because there were a series of investigations, so at the conclusion of one investigation, the moratorium is lifted uh, before a second investigation goes into place and a moratorium is put back in place. Uh, the, it seems like Captain Tucker took New Jersey out uh, intentionally to fire her guns during this brief gap in the moratorium. So there you have it, the two very different dates that New Jersey fired her main guns last. Her last time in action in 1984 and her last time in training, her last time ever, on April 18th, 1990. What other firsts or lasts do you want to hear about in the future? We'll do some research on them. Maybe last time the ship got underway under her own power, uh, the last time she moved at all, the first time she moved. Let us know in the comment section down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to donate to support the channel. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about us in the museum. Thanks for watching.